This video will teach you how to export Office 365 mailboxes using the eDiscovery tool. Open Google, search for Office 365 and open the first link as shown in the video. Click on Sign In, enter your email address and click Next. Enter your Office 365 password and click on Sign In. Open the App Launcher from the side panel and click on the Admin option. Microsoft 365 Admin Center will open. Click on Show All to expand the sidebar, and choose Compliance from the list. A new Microsoft Purview window will open. Click on the permissions in the sidebar. Click on the roles under Microsoft Purview Solutions. Now click on the eDiscovery Manager from the role groups. A sidebar on the right will open containing eDiscovery Manager settings. Click on the Edit Role group to assign the role to the users. A window containing roles settings will open. Now click on the Choose role to assign the export role. If the export role is assigned already then you do not need to do anything. Otherwise, click on the Edit option and assign an export role, then click Save. Now click on the Choose eDiscovery Manager. Again, click on Choose eDiscovery Manager option to assign the users to export their mailbox data. Add the users and click Save. Further click on the Choose eDiscovery Administrator. Click on the Edit option if you want to assign a particular user with administration access for the eDiscovery tool. Finally, click Save and close the eDiscovery sidebar. Now choose the Content Search option from the left sidebar. Click on the new search, and in the next window, enter the name and the description for the new search, then click Next. Now click on the toggle button to activate the export of Exchange Mailbox. Further, click on Choose Users, and in the next window, select the users and click Done. Now, click Next to proceed further. Further, if you want to create any search conditions, then you can add keywords to export only particular keywords email. Otherwise, skip it, and click Next to move further. Now review your search details, and click on the Submit button to create the search. You will see a page with the new search created screen. Click on the Done button. A new search has been created, and you can see the status of the search on the screen. Click on the Refresh button after some time, and, you will see the status of the search showing completed. Now click on the search created by you. Then click on the action button and further choose export results. A new window containing export results will appear. Choose the second option from the output options. And, select the one PST file for each mailbox. You can choose the other options as suitable to you. Further, click on the export button. A dialog box will appear showing, a job has been created. Click on the OK button to proceed further. Now, click on the export tab, as shown in the video. Now, click on the export result to see the completed details and status of the export. In the starting, it will show the status as scheduling. Click on the refresh button after some time to check the status again. Once the scheduling gets completed, you will see a screen with the export key. Copy your export key, and click on the download results. A new window will open asking you to install the eDiscovery tool if you are using it first time. Otherwise, it will ask you to open the eDiscovery tool if installed earlier eDiscovery export tool will open. Paste your export key. Choose the destination to save the file. Click on the advanced option to change the file name. And click start. It will take some time to calculate the export size and time and to start the export, depending on your mailbox data. And you will see the export progress on the screen. Click on the close button to finish the export process. Now you can check your export data at the selected destination location. In this video, we showed you how to back up or export Office 365 mailboxes using eDiscovery tool. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also, follow us on other social media platforms. Social media links are in the description.